So today let us begin with a discussion on wave. So when we begin the discussion, let's begin with the definition of a wave. So when we say a wave, we mean to say a wave is a disturbance through which energy propagate from one point to another without the transfer of medium taking place. मतलब कहने का मतलब ऐसा हो गया कि अगर मैं आवाज लगा रहा हूँ, sound wave travel कर रहा है, तो sound wave जब propagate कर रहा है, the medium is not moving towards you, but the wave is propagating towards you. अगर मैं एक string attach कर देता हूँ एक door के तरफ और मैं इस उस string को plug करूँ, तो the wave pulse created on the string is going to travel towards the door, but the string is not going to travel towards the door. That is what we mean to say that the disturbance will propagate, but the medium will not propagate when the wave is propagating. Now, if we classify the wave, we have a mechanical wave and a non-mechanical wave. This is a basic classification. In which we are saying that there is a wave which needs a material medium for propagation, and it needs a material medium for propagation. So, a wave which requires material medium for its propagation is classified as mechanical wave. While the wave which do not require material medium for its propagation is called as non-mechanical wave. In this video, we are going to discuss about mechanical wave. So, mechanical wave is further classified as transverse wave and longitudinal wave. Transverse wave का बुकिस डेफिनेशन हो गया। If the wave is propagating perpendicular to the direction of disturbance, then the wave is regarded as transverse wave in nature. And when we say longitudinal wave, we say that the wave is propagating in the direction of disturbance. तो ये दोनों का बेसिक डिफरेंस है। ट्रांसवर्स वेव के लिए अपने कहते हैं, it consists of alternative crest and trough, और लॉन्गिट्यूडल वेव के लिए अपने कहते हैं, it consists of alternative compressions and real factions. Now let us demonstrate how a transverse wave is generated in a medium. So we are demonstrating a transverse wave, and we can say that the wave is propagating perpendicular to the direction of disturbance. My hands are moving in this direction, that is we can consider a y-axis, while the wave is traveling in the x-direction, which is perpendicular to the direction of disturbance. The wave is also making crest and trough. When my hands are moving in the upward direction, it is generating a crest in the medium, while when it is coming down, it is generating a trough in the medium, and the wave is propagating perpendicular to the direction of disturbance. For the time being, just focus on this wave. So this is an example of a transverse wave where the wave is traveling perpendicular to the direction of disturbance. So next we are demonstrating longitudinal wave. In this case, the wave will be propagating in the direction of disturbance. So over here, we have a coiled arrangement of a spring. So if I release a pulse from here, then it will be traveling as a compression wave in this direction. And then maybe it will reflect back. Let us see to find out. So the wave pulse which we saw traveling is an example of compression wave, and the wave is traveling in the direction of disturbance. We can see that again. So the compression wave is traveling down the wave, getting reflected from the other end, and then coming back. Just like this. And we can see for one last time. In this case, the wave is propagating perpendicular to the direction of disturbance. And in this case, the wave is propagating in the direction of disturbance. It consists of alternative crest and trough, and this one consists of alternative compressions and rear factions.